Fashion Week is here. Please welcome Hall Live's Ayami Nakiri, who teased a new outfit reveal for yesterday with this sleeveless jacketed ensemble with a tie and more belts than we can count. And naturally, the fan artwork flowed in with this piece coming in from Yuki Neko at Yuki Neko 1018, nicely bringing out some of these stunning colors. And we also have this piece from Lily is Asleep at Kuki Nian, proving Ayame is just just as adorably dangerous as ever. And lastly, we had this coming from me, my dream, my ideal at N Revolver, stating, I don't know why I spent four hours making this. With Ayame also appearing in yesterday's Hologram with a perfectly disciplined performance. Next up, please welcome Hall Live's Watame Tsunamaki, who just this morning also received a brand new outfit, as illustrated here from Fumi at Fumi SC, with the live 2D model later being rigged by the Kefi, who has worked on numerous Hall Live projects at this point, showing off all of the bouncy fun that we would expect from Waname, along with a short-haired and long-haired version as well. And that's not all. Here we have Mori Calliope, Hall Live English's Rapping Reaper, who has been teasing a new outfit as well with the hashtag CaliDrip, which not only were we excited for, but with Cali also sharing in the excitement here, saying, I am so F-wording excited about these new outfits. Later stating, the time has come, everyone. The Hall Live English new outfit escapade begins with your boy. And plenty of predictions were made beforehand as to what the new Hall Live outfits would look like with this piece coming in from Ronin at Zetotal, giving us plenty of potential ideas as well as a cowgirl Cali. With later these predictions coming in from Iri Sayumi, stating, I was fantasizing about costumes. And here now we have Cali's original illustrator, Yuka showing off their work on this new outfit with loads of new embroidery and accessories and a version without the jacket as well. Callie later stating, Mama, Daisuke, thank you for my beautiful new clothes. I love you. With Callie's original modeler, Jujubee, at Mega Jujubee, confirming that they also performed the rigging for this new outfit. Callie would go on to say, thank you for always cheering and cheering loud with the hashtag Callie Drip later trending, leaving Callie to say the biggest ups to all fans loving the new outfit and sharing that love with the world. I am blown away. And the new looks just keep coming. Here we have Hero at Hero VT, independent VTuber, showing off their old and new look with this reference image coming by way of Shapeshift and showing off Hero's alternate hairstyle, expressions, and weapons. With Hero later showing off some other potential designs, stating, I'm a fashionista, you know. I can't just wear one thing. Next up, please welcome Captain Dan Dandy at Dandy Floss VT, a cruise captain cat, hitting us up with this brand new design, with new 3D model coming by way of Theory, with Dandy stating, please go send more love to my model's papa. This was his first ever VTuber avatar, and I hope he goes on to make many more. And we also received this 360 degree animation coming to us from Riku VR, and with Dandy replying, now I have something to show people who ask if my model is 2D or 3D. Captain Dandy also promised to do a full backflip if they had 2,000 followers on Twitter. Oh, yes. Perfect landing. Dandy would go on to receive this wholly accurate gremlin art by way of Rococo at Rococo Prefet. And the captain is also running a custom Minecraft skin giveaway right now. Three winners will be chosen at random with this giveaway running until May 14th. With Dandy later spoiling the new Galgura outfit reveal and later dropping this important message. You are special. You are loved. You are going to let me have a bite of that chalk chip muffin. Not a chance. And please welcome now Carrot at Carrot VTuber, an English and French imp that draws and games, who was the illustrator for Captain Dandy's new redesign, showing off here some of the original concept art and how it later evolved. Later drawing this illustration and saying, congrats on your re-debut, Captain Dandy. I'm super proud of you and it was an honor to work on your redesign. Also giving Dandy this piece between the captain and Cynthia, who had provided Dandy background music. And that's not all. We also have Carrot coming to us with this piece, showing off both their old design as well as Hero's old design, saying this is a bittersweet farewell to our old designs. We both rebranded, but those past forms will remain the reason why we are here now, with Carrot being instrumental in Hero's new redesign. Carrot here showing 
off their imp redesign, stating Officer Carrot from Hell's Delivery Service has arrived. Carrot recently also showing off a brand new hairstyle, seen here with the hair draping even longer. And Carrot has kept busy here working as the illustrator for the brand new VTuber Masetta Flubba, with Carrot promising plenty of new illustrations for new VTubers to come, with Carrot later dropping on us a mischievous male clue, that being Clue at Clue VT, a raccoon maid who cleans by eating trash, and who has now officially debuted, and coming to us with this reference sheet from Jen at Jen PTRN, a debut which featured one of the most expensive lore videos ever, complete with elaborate animation and highly detailed storytelling. And here we have Vienna, C9's VTuber at C9 Vienna, a cosmic dragon English VTuber for Cloud9, that being the Los Angeles, California-based esports organization, coming to us here with their full model reveal, with illustration coming by way of Hayama Fair, who had also worked as illustrator for Bao. Yes, um, that Bao. And rigging coming by way of Brian Chewy, live 2D specialist for Iron Vertex, and who themselves has also been illustrated, seen here in this work from Soon Teen Ua. Yes, Brian is a very caring father to his VTuber daughters, and Vienna has been receiving plenty of artwork, with this operator version coming by way of X-Ray Dreads, and later this almost light novel-esque cover coming by way of Sima Noko B. And that wasn't all, we also had this springtime artwork coming in from Yun, giving us some really next level light and shading work here, as well as this piece between Bao and Vienna from Fub at Fub Kism, with Vienna later elaborating, I'm really excited to stream for and represent Cloud9, but I wanted to clarify, I planned and funded this project 100% myself. It was an idea I had a really long time ago, and they've been very supportive throughout the transition from regular streamer to something different. Different, with Vienna more importantly adding never date a league player because they play League of Legends. This is also our first paid promotional video as we'd like to now thank our partners at Vise Incorporated, Innovation Through AI, and all are welcome to join their upcoming stockholders event being held on May 7th at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. For more information, please join us on Twitter at girl underscore DM underscore. In other news, the members of Niji Sanji India have now officially graduated graduated. And for more, we join Noor at Noor VTuber, who stated, thank you for everything. The time we spent together, though short, will always be precious to me. You guys are precious to me. And also asking, if I have one birthday wish, it would be to get this to 100,000. I wonder if I'm asking for too much. But still, thank you for all the love and support. That being Noor's King cover, which is now officially sitting at 104,000 views. To which Noor has replied, thank you for the best gift ever. Thank you for making making my wish come true. I love you all. And we had wonderful parting art coming by way of Noto at Noto Hams. And later this piece coming from ACAT at ACAT saying, thank you, Noir, for all the fun times. Wishing you all the best in your future endeavors. And further giving us this piece. Farewell, Noir. Thank you for being so genuinely you. And lastly, we had this piece of all three of the members from Nijisanji India coming by way of Suki Mozu saying, thank you for being with us. I wish all the best for your future. Take care and be safe. Further dropping on us, casual wear artwork of not only Noir, but also fellow members Aja and Vihan as well. With Noir lastly stating, Dear Noormies, fellow VTubers Aja and Vihan, I thank you for the fun times, for believing in me, for existing. Words aren't good enough to convey my gratitude and appreciation for you all. This may be farewell, but don't be sad. I'll always cheer you on. Love, Noir. Meanwhile, Niji Sanji Korea just had three new day Debuts, that being of Sefina, Bon Hada, and Song Mia, all of whom we are wishing the best of luck to. And yes, now we have Hall Live's Sakura Miko, who has now just celebrated 1 million YouTube subscribers, making Miko the 14th member to cross the 1 million mark. And in celebration, Miko shared some very personal letters, which were handedly translated by way of Because of Reasons, who is a part of the Miko fan base, the 35P. Those letters being a letter from Miko to her viewers, a letter from Miko's IRL mother to the viewers, as well as a letter from Miko's mother to Miko, which read, Congratulations on 1 million subscribers. I was there with you through tears and hardships, and maybe it is because last year was especially hard, but I'm super happy for you. I always watch your streams as one more 
35p. Before you became a VTuber, I don't remember ever seeing you holding a controller, so I was a little bit worried at first. And as expected, you were kind of an airhead in many things. Still, that's also very much like you, so I always watch with a smile on my face. There might be thousands of pros out there, but not many airheads. From now on, I'll keep supporting you as a 35p and as your mother. Take care of yourself and do your best. And that's not all for Hall Live. The official Hall Live account has also released this, the Hall Live Music Studio, featuring Hall Live original background music remixed as lo-fi beats to chill to, and asking any fans that are also DJs to send their remixes to hashtag hollow underscore remix to be potentially included in any future lo-fi videos. This weekend also saw the debut of Nabi at Naboy, the illustrator for Hall Live's Amelia Watson, as well as independent VTuber Udo Amatsuka. I know my favorite color is blue. I've only had Nabi for a day and a half, but if anything were to happen to her, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. With Quack at Iron Vertex revealing that they were responsible for rigging the model of Nabi. And for more, let's check in with Uto Amatsuka. This is gay, heavy, can't hit a baseball, I'm ready, hoo hoo. Laughing serious, honey, yeah, this bitch turn like money, ha! Who not only came to us with one brand new illustration, but this one between mother and daughter as well. And further along, here we have Hall Live English's Amelia Watson reacting to Nobby's debut with My Mama's Voice, her singing, I Am Die. And then later with This Brought Me Back to Life, with Nobby not only singing two songs during her debut, but as well as releasing a cover song video, as edited by Illumina at 1umin4. And video illustration coming by way of Nico at 25 Apollo. And up next, we have some breaking news from the Sundaria group coming to us with this tease of downloading DLC. Many speculating that this means that Miori Celesta, formerly of the My Hollow TV agency, may be the next to join Sundaria. And speaking of My Hollow TV, here we have Liliana Vampire, a half vampire from an ancient kingdom, and seen unvampire in this recent work from Dangon Giri San at Dangon Giri Art, with Liliana confirming that they now have an upcoming collab, that being with Hall Live's Irani Ifotid, with this Lily and Eofi drawing challenge coming up on May 4th. And lastly, please once again welcome Shimada Tiger, the Tiger of the Shimada Dojo, and your Tiger GF, revealing this new reference sheet coming by way of Nell at Nell Knox, who had also created Shimada's model, which was later rigged by Kamatsu at Seirayu Kamatsu, a fellow VTuber who was also captured in this artwork along with Shimada, with this piece coming from Karembo at King Criminal, who themselves are a VTuber and highly cultured artist. And when Shimada isn't breaking their ring fit ring controllers with pure leg power, they are promising a dragon and tiger battle in Soul Calibur, that being against Zentrea, V Shoujo's rocking red dragon. A formidable challenge as Shimada has now revealed they are allergic to pineapple and have lost one of their eyes due to an error in VTube Studio. A now patched error that was so common that the VTube Studio account stated if I hear that eye patch joke one more time I swear I'm blocking all of you. And lastly we have the results of our latest community poll that asking which platform do you watch VTuber streams on more with 34% of you saying Twitch and 66% of you saying YouTube, an interesting result, and not at all being biased due to requiring a YouTube account to vote on. And that is all for this episode. Once again, please check our community tab for our new poll. And for more, please like, comment, and subscribe below. We'll have more things VTubers say for you very soon.